of all to extend a welcome to anybody that will be viewing this video film on the Balfour Hall and District Pipe Band. You may ask us why we found it necessary to make a film of the band. The simple answer to that is that of all the time that we have been requesting from our supporters the various types of support that we get, like finance and moral support whenever it's needed. We have never been able to show them in full exactly where their money and their effort goes. So uh, as a result of this, a few months ago, the committee made a decision to make a complete video recording of the, of the band and its activities from stage one right up to playing and everything that it entails. And also, to show the supporters how their part, their active part in, in supporting us has made, has made us, uh, has encouraged us to carry on and, and, to com and to reach the achievements that we have reached in the last two or three years. It's a very unique thing in any community to have a band established in it. But in Balifihan we went a bit further than that and within a short space of time we had a, a band fully equipped and uniformed and playing and indeed in that, within the two year period winning a special grade four monster championships in Bally Bunyan. This in itself is a reflection on the teaching of Mr John Shute. You could, it's clear to see that, that his emphasis on pipe music uh, uh, and, uh, his, and, and everything that, that adheres to it has come out tremendously in, in the children. But it is also, to our knowledge, at least a, a unique thing in the sense that everybody has rallied around the band from the very start. And there's a reflection on ye people that are looking at this video for them tonight. The reflection is there on ye. Because everything that has been achieved has been achieved Absolutely, through your support, our band will be non-existent only for your support, and we are fully aware of this. And this video film, in a sense, is a tribute to the supporters for everything that you have done for us in the past couple of years. It is a, it is a small, a small way for us to show an appreciation to you. And we feel, after you view this film, that you will become more determined to help us in the near future. During the course of this film, we will be handing around um, a document uh, uh, requesting your support for any future activities that the band may uh, carry out. Basically, the first one that we will be taking on us in the next six months will be a, a building fund. And you can have, obviously enough, you can see as a result of this film why we so badly need this facility. All we're asking for is your signature to this document at this time. And at a later stage, we will be contacting you to support us in our endeavours to build a premises and to help us in every way possible to carry on with what we have already achieved and to go further afield. Without much further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I will now send you over to the film. And we will start the film with an address from the very Reverend Canon Cahillan, as priest of Ballyfehan. Sure. You associated with the Ballyfehan Pipe Band, and so indeed have all the priests in the parish, past and present. As a matter of fact, they were very closely associated with the band from the very beginning. There's always been very close links between this band and the church. Uh, and uh, the priests have helped to get the band off the ground in the first instance and uh, put at their disposal the sacristy in the beginning for practices and later uh, gave them a hut, a prefabricated hut in Bonnie Star School in which they still are. And uh, the priests did that because they believe in the band. They believe it's a good thing for young people. It's, it helps them to take, get an interest in music. It keeps them occupied. And uh, generally, they feel it's a good discipline for them. And from the very beginning, uh, they helped out then in that in, a, in any way they could, and we'd be glad to continue to do so. I understand that once they start from the age of ten, they learn to read and play 
uh, pipe music. And of course, uh, their new uniforms are beautiful. They look very well, nice and tidy, whenever they go into town or elsewhere. And since uh, their formation, they have been a great asset to the parish at all times. They play on all our big occasions, like when the bishop comes for confirmation uh, during our May procession, and they lead the men and boys into town in the Corpus Christi procession. And any other time we ask them, they're always willing to, uh, to come along. And so I'd like to take this opportunity of thanking them for their cooperation always, and congratulating the committee and those who train them on the wonderful results they have achieved with this band in such a short period. I myself was delighted to accompany them to the City Hall last year when they were received by the Lord Mayor, Councillor Dennehy, in recognition of the many trophies they won in Ballybuggin at the uh, Pipe Band Festival there. And now they're thinking of going a little bit further. They want to build their own band room. And uh, by if, they, if, if that comes off, I have no doubt it will mean a big increase in membership in the band, and then also, if, if that is possible, uh, improve uh, their music. So I would like to uh, ask and pray God's blessing on the success of their efforts in that direction. And I trust that the people uh, will support any uh, fundraising schemes they uh, may uh, organize to achieve it. It's an ambitious program, as I said, very ambitious, but knowing this committee, I have no doubt that they will reach that goal, and I wish them every success and God's blessing in doing it. Thanks very much, Ken. I'd like to the Belgaham Pipe Band, I'd like to go back there two years ago, and we were walking down to the Corpus Christi Parade, and I remember we were talking to Father Holy, and we said at the time that was an opportunity we didn't have a pipe band to lead us down. And I think from there on it really took over. I think Father Holy was a great driving force behind this. And I think they should get all the assistance and all the financial help from the Belvihang community. And do deserve a break with their new clubhouse because the, the local GA club have the same problem. They have an adjoining clubhouse to the pipe band and they are suffering the same kind of vandalism with people break-ins and they're just not getting a break and they deserve something special from the parish or... Things are being robbed without. She's the best in this area, um, especially Spectrum Bishop, so... And to... So I'd like to keep up the good work for what they're doing, like. And I hope they'll be around for a long time. It's a great thing like, for the community. The, the, all the people, the youngsters know about if you like. <laughs> And, uh, It'll keep a lot of them off the streets, won't it? Yeah. Cool. A lot of the, the little vagabonds that I'm looking at here. <laughs> 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 so that's all I understand. Bad behind by band, it's fabulous. And it's great to see them marching through the streets and people walking after them and giving them cooperation and they pray for the pleasure of our parish. I think that they need much more money to get them started properly. Um, the people from the parish, um, they don't take enough interest in them. They're very good and I think that they, they need a chance. My name is Reed Foss and my friends live in Candy. Back to her play friends are great for the kids of the parish to keep them occupied. And it gives them interest in something to do and keeps them off the streets. Delighted with the band and if we got more support, I think it's very sentiment and things like that and more by very good really. Very we think they're the best in Munster, you know? And uh, considering for a parish like it is, there is a lot in places, other other places there's not much money around there. And they're very, very dedicated to the band, you know? Alright? You know? And uh, I think myself they're very they achieved a lot really since they started and uh, great credit due to the committee who were really dedicated and hope that they go many more places in uh, the future really, you know. Back at Heart School and uh, some of our girls are in the uh, Bellevue Hand Pipe Band and 
I would like to pay tribute to the uh, committee of the pipe band and especially to the teacher, Mr. Shute, who is doing so much for the, the youngsters in our parish and particularly for the, the, the girls in our school. We are very grateful. Um, <laughs> Very skillful, you know. It's great to have them in the community. Um, they bring a lot of um, music around the parish. They go, they walk around, and everybody to be out the windows listening to them. Um, something to do for you. Uh, we're proud of them. It's the, <laughs> the lovely dress. <laughs> All my friends are in it. Delights of things. And it's just good to know. It's up to look forward to. Right, and us as well. Bella Fair and Pipe Band gives enjoyment to the youth. Everybody enjoys playing it. Enjoying it. They're nice. And they're very, they're very successful in all their competitions and the um, practice day parade now and everything. They're and very, and, and they've done well. It's great that we have some girls yeah. in school. They only started last yeah. year yeah. and they're actually yeah. really split. Yeah. 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 They're yeah. taking yeah. up really. Yeah. In short, <laughs> listen, in short, we're delighted to have Bella Fair and Pipe Band.
watch him. Uh, some of the scenes that you've seen here um, are uh, winning our own premises both by the morning star school. And uh, we are very, very grateful for this facility from the church who given it to us from the very outset. And as you can see, we are very badly repaired. We, number one, the, the type of space that we have within the room, owing to the fact that our band has grown beyond our proportion in the last two years. And as a result of that, we are fairly tight for space at practically all times. As by right, there should be a number of classes going on at the same time. And, uh, as things stand at the moment, we can possibly do this come to the size of the band. Basically, what we are looking for is to expand the premises as they are and renovate them into a more suitable facility for the van. Also, we suffer an awful lot from vandalism. Practically every other week, they had damage done to the van room, windows broken, heaters stolen, roof bashed in on one or two occasions. It, 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 you could go on and on as a girl's vandalism and it seems to be an ongoing thing, something that you have to learn to live with. But uh, in our case, we, we've got more than our fair share of it. So as a result of this, like, we also, uh, in, the, in, in the proposed new premises that we, we hope to build, as you can see, the ones that we have are in pretty bad state. We hope to have proper um, shuttering devices, etc., like to uh, hold out vandals. Uh, we feel like that this will be very practical. We have complete support of the school in the area here, Mr. Clark. It is a tremendous help and encouragement to us. He's given us every encouragement and he's very enthusiastic about us uh, staying within the school premises and extending, if possible, the areas that, uh, the area that we have. And um, basically, this is what our campaign will be about. As I say, you can see for yourselves the types of conditions that are there at the moment. We make the best of them and are complaining, but we're hoping with your help to uh, improve on them. you're looking at now at the moment, as you can see, you're, you have first of all the first class under the instruction of Mr. Shute again. These children have been in the band now uh, about three to four months at the moment and they're making tremendous progress under the guidance of Mr. Shute. You can see they're learning the basics of the chanter, which is the uh, basic instrument, the, the practice instrument for, for, for the bagpipes. And uh, Mr. Schultz has a, has a very good program made out for him, and we're all overemphasizing it. You can see yourself all relaxed and attentive. They are. They're not posing for the camera on purpose. They are like this at nearly all their practice sessions, believe me. And out of all the class that we got in, from the time that they started, we've only had two pupils dropping out, which is a very good ratio. And uh, we're very happy with these children, and we have. We, we know at this stage that there's great promise there for them for the future because obviously enough they're very committed. And that means that our band is con the continuity for our band is there with these children because they are following up the older members who are already playing. Um, now, the next class, as you can see, they are all the senior members. They are at a very advanced stage now at this time and a uh, point in time. And as you can see, some of the stuff that they're playing is fairly advanced. They're again under the tutorship of Mr. John Schultz. Uh, some of their stuff is is, is, is world grade, and uh, they're handling it quite quite easily. Uh, there, there doesn't seem to be any any hardship at all, and no matter what type of music Mr. Schultz gives them, they seem to adapt to it in a very short time. 
And this is the amazing thing about it. We are very pleased and happy with, with, with the way that they are adapting to music. And uh, it makes us all that bit more determined to give them a better facility. As you can see ourselves, they are these two young pipers are yeah, they're average age, it's only about 16 or 17 and they're quite capable of handling stuff that some pipers that are playing for the last 20 or 30 years aren't capable of. Here you can see um, drum practice from some of our drum pupils that have been with us since the foundation of the band. And as you can see, they are handling their drum sticks quite professionally at this stage. Some of these children have been with us nearly two and a half, three years, and they seem to be going ahead in leaps and bounds. Our drum, drumming and stuff, though, as you will see in a few minutes time, Mr. Tom Mulligan from Dublin, has a map about these children, and you can see a very bright future for them in the pipe band world. And we take this coming from Mr. Mulligan as a great compliment to our men. I have the privilege Indeed, the honor to introduce to you, Mr. Tom Mulligan from Dublin, a world-renowned drumming instructor, one of the best ever to come out of Ireland, and perhaps one of the more, most, in the last 20 to 30 years, influential men in the pipe and world. Mr. Mulligan himself is several times world champion. He's also a veteran of nearly 60 years playing with his own band, the Finton Nala Pipe Band in Dublin, one of the oldest established pipe bands in this country. Obviously enough, as you can see, Mr. Mulligan is still more grade. Perhaps what you are witnessing here tonight you may never again witness. You see a world champion drumming and soccer, Mr. Tom Milligan, in action in Belfayan. It's certainly a compliment to all band that Tom decided to come down here and give us his time. Obviously enough, when he comes from Dublin to teach our drummers, he must think the trip is worth it.
just a good idea again.
thing there on tonight's meeting that we have to discuss on the agenda, it's a fairly big agenda, but we'll get through it, providing that we can take it now. There's a number of reports that come in from practically every individual on the table. So if it's, if it's okay with you, I take them in the order as they are, like PRO report, financial, secretary's report, a band report, a building report, sale of <coughs> tickets, and uh, there's an assistance treasurer's report. Will that be all right with the comedy? Yeah, it's okay. satisfactory enough to choose this way. So we can start there with the PRO report. Uh, Frank has something, I think, to say on that there since. Christmas and that um, since since we came back, uh, the first thing I know is the calendar. Uh, there are already now thousand calendars. <coughs> um, printer said he could do nothing about it, but the way this, there was so long coming out because he wasn't informed of them on since uh, a fortnight before Christmas. Um, they're already anyway they are now for sale, 50 pence of gold. The newsletter, we're back in the newsletter this week. We have an article on the, uh, this week's newsletter. So we, we won't carry on with the profile of the members of the band until next week. For next week's newsletter. We, leave and we have a bit of news what happened over the Christmas. Uh, everything to build up to know. Uh, that's all the PRO has to report for this week. Fine, that's good. You, there was quite a bit more stuff there like in the next couple, couple of weeks. There was, there's a fierce, fierce PRO job to do in the next few weeks. But we'll get into that in here. It's a good mm -hmm. report on fairness like right now. I'm waiting on uh, John o for the, have you, the castings that yeah, John? He, Really prestigious, yeah. I will have it tomorrow, but I will have it before next weekend. Yeah. Um, is that okay with you, lads? No. Yeah. Uh, we have a little thing here on the financial situation. Uh, the treasurer like, has told me that her books are in order at the moment, and I come to the, the stuff that money like that, that came in over the Christmas period, like, you know, has yet like, to be finalised and so on, so you can accept that, like, and there's quite a bit of a bond over at the moment, so she'll just be uh, really in there, like, you know, she'll mm -hmm. bring any books around, like, mm -hmm. you know. The calendars now has to be paid for in this, a lot of equipment to be bought, this reads to be bought very often, so, what money have, has come in over the Christmas and, Tickets and everything else has be gone very, very low at the moment. The Christmas tickets to when Sally must be paid for two. Mm -hmm. I know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The whole lot will have to be paid for now, so there won't be a great deal of money left in funds. So, so there's not there's not enough to say on that at the moment, right? Like, mm. Other than that, we well, could do it a lot more. Like. Yeah, other than you, we're, we're, we're not very comfortable anyway, like, are we finally? No way. Really? No way. Not way not sure. Yeah, I was thinking that, like a, a complete financial report next week and we have for us, I think, mm -hmm. you know, as well, mm -hmm. and um, there's a thing on the agenda down now that we'll cover our stuff with the assistant treasurer there, you see, but if you like, we can bring it in now, you know, and lump the two um, financial things together, like, yeah. so it makes it forward, right, we'll go by now. Well, uh, the tickets were, they were sold this week, like, uh, in the public houses and the um, place came to uh, 30 pounds, I think. They made the small, small sale this week, the first link was the first half of Christmas. That's just before Christmas, actually. Approximately 10 pound top the profit. Profit, that's all, yeah. Is that actually the price of the printing, the cost of the printing? So, what are we doing, Professor? We have to do better. Uh, we'll do better next week. No, I'm going to really push it this week. Yeah, no, so we'd have to push it. Get it going properly. The vital part, I know, which I think is 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 the lifeblood of any comedy like that's the, the, the secretary, you know. And Jack has a, a bit of a run down there for us for the last couple of weeks, you know. Well, I have to apologise to you for last week. I couldn't make last week's meeting because I was at a, a union meeting. Good job. But, uh, since Christmas, anyway, the Christmas draw was a good, very good success. It was a lot better than last year. Uh, I sent over to all the 64 letters, they were thank you letters for our sponsors. 
who donated prizes for the draw. I also sent a letter to the City Hall to thank the Arts Council for their donation for 1983. Um, I wrote to the Pipe Band Association with the registration form plus the fee for 1984. The fee is uh, £31. And the flag did, and I got a reply from Union Key that they can't give us Friday or Saturday for 84, so we have to reapply again. And we don't have to take whatever day that they'll give us. So Friday or Saturday is mm -hmm. okay. Did they give us Saturday? Support the election. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. um, there's a, another report also, you know, it's on the building fund again, you know, it's on, it's on, on the site for the building and the people like that we were getting it. Ted here, like has something to say on that, if you remember, <coughs> that time that you met. Yeah, I... If you could just let us, <coughs> tell us there exactly, you remember the number yeah, of weeks ago that? Yeah, I met Dennis Kidney uh, from Angkor, and I explained our position to him, and so he told us that, uh, he told me that uh, when our plans are finalised, that uh, Angkor will give us all the help we need. It had been looked after that end of it, so that's okay with you lads. There's the thing there, um, just pack, pack the on Holly, see the tickets, Holly, and Paddy, are they doing okay about what you're living? Well, just like, 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 we could do well another week, we could do very well, you know. Yeah. And then for the five different rooms selling tickets to one. <laughs> we are. Yeah, well, that's all. We have an official tour and you see what's uh, there. It's Saturday, isn't it? Every second Saturday. Officially, it's all told to go around. But other than that, we can't go around selling tickets around to that. How they will be? Well, how are you? I mean, it's that then also. Yeah. 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 We have a push. Saturday morning, I well, of course, you have a fierce, strong support for the band there all the time. Yeah, yeah. Two kinds of horror. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. We have a club for weekend and Saturday morning. What is so yeah. total? Yeah. Saturday morning yeah. yeah. on the street. Yeah. Yeah. Well, where's the reaction to the candle, the lads? Very good. Is it? No, it is not. Right. We didn't push it too strong. Yeah. Because yeah. I had the idea, you want to get me here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they're kind of, we were kind of tightening them there. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, you know. Has a bit of a band report to give us as regards progress and so on, and uh, I think. You had to be local means, as you can. Well, I um, think there's a selection means of them. Time I can do But um, then just goes for the same thing. I think the drone reads like that, but the chapel reads themselves. So just a medium quality. Then. Well, I'm waiting for results from Scotland for the rest of the reads. What about the journal class, John? What were they coming along? The journal class is improving now, perfectly, and then there was. Because we have great prospects and a few of the children are quite bright, I think. But we don't know for a while. It will take another two or three months, I think, if we see them coming to Antigua. But they are quite good. And what's the mistake, Richard? Yeah, well, if we take it away, when I down, three out of 26, like. Yeah. Since last August, that's speaking for itself. That's very good, yeah. very good. Very good indeed. Yeah. Of course, so we have been at it. Disability help in, in, in the space that we have, like it's, it's still very hard, like, isn't it? Well, let's see, we can work here, like, and this is why we try to get our, our momentum on the board because you will see the other occasions, the other senior class comes in, there's no room to join a class. So then you can't have one on the one, eh? It's impossible. It's very hard, very hard. So if you've had uh, two or three separate rooms, you can pick it back. He's what mentioning, like, um, is, is Paddy Nash, you know? He's done tremendous work for us there, but during the last year, when we've been asked for money for his expertise, you know? He's a good man. He's, he's a good lad, you know, and he, he deserves. Because with the way the children are grown, they're not children anymore, like, they're, they're, they're some of them that will somewhere. Yeah. And their kids are grown, you know, they're, they're grown over their kids. Yeah, so he, he's a. Uh, He's the, he's the tailor, like, you know, if I'm really in trouble, like, you well, know. Do the tunics, do the tunics. Paddy Nash will have a go off of him. Yeah. He will, yeah. And he'll succeed, I'd say, you know. He's a very organized family, you know. I think we'll approach him now very shortly. Um, basically, that's it, other than the fact, like, that, um, 
We are getting gear on there, enough now to the um, fundraising campaign for the band We are coming on to getting gear for it. So, there would be any chance of getting a little bit more heating here, because those children are frozen to every nation, aren't they? Yeah. It is a, it's a very, heating very hot thing to ask the child to sit down and have an hour to hours, like, and a uh, and course, you know? Yeah. And it is very cold as well, like, and do not have windows, it only had been broken around us, like, and oh, yeah. traps all over the place, like. Well, they were vandalised, as you see, like, I had to pay 54 pounds for play, but they were just to keep a man for like, so that's it, anyway. Thanks so much. Yeah. We've come to the high point of the video for a lot of people now that would be here tonight, I suppose, where you, you, you will probably seen yourself on television. But outside of that, it was, it was an opportunity to um, emphasise your involvement in the band and this is the, the main reason why we took the videos recordings in the pub because from the very staff of the band the mass support has come from the ordinary man and woman in the street that has the jail on the sunday night and has the sing song and the does i don't drink at all for that matter so we have decided as you can see like to visit two of the local pubs in the area here and show the type of support that we have and believe me the support that we have hasn't been put on for this particular video because this this is normal support that we get every sunday night or saturday night or whatever the case may be whenever we have uh, a collection or, or, or we are uh, selling tickets and you you can see the enthusiasm that's there for the band uh, a little bit over enthusiastic at times i'd say like but <laughs> it's still anyway and you can sit back and enjoy it, but believe me, when you've had this type of support, our band will be non-existent, and um, we are very, uh, very much aware of that. And here again, like, you, 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 you can, you can well imagine, and you can see, you know, at this stage, the money that you are giving to the tickets and the collections. You can see exactly like, where it's going. In, in, in conclusion to this tape. I would like just to stress that our band is only as strong as its supporters and it looks like to us at this present time that our band was never stronger because our support is getting stronger every other day thanks to you. So I would like to personally thank you very much for every help that you have given us in the past and look forward very much to your help in the future. Thank you very much for having me.
the building while it's anywhere else to do it. It's probably out. Thank you. Oh, that's the building. I'm 